What is up, everybody? Um, Sparrow here, back with another episode of How to Train Your Turtle. Um, it is still raining, because our script is still going strong, which is awesome. I do, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing how I definitely want to move this to, like, a rain computer or something specifically for it. Um, because... As long as the whole thing takes, and because it's constantly looping, it would tie up my quote-unquote main computer that'll house a bunch of other stuff. Um, back to our Excavate script. I did change this around a little bit, um, copying my other script. I found it was in open wall. Um, oh, no, that was something else. Um, but yeah, um, I changed this around to where it does include the first one just for the heck of it. Um, get item count is equal to zero, then full equals false, and uh, break otherwise full equals true. Um, so that's pretty much that one. Um, next up, what I want to do is the what I like to call the dump command. Whoa. What was that? Sounds like lava or something. What is going on? Don't make me come out there. Seriously, what is that? What is making that noise? Huh. Oh, whatever. Gosh, why is my jetpack always dead when uh, I'm recording? Okay. Um, so the dump command. What this is going to do, as the name implies... Oop. Um... Yep, it's going again. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's actually working 100% like I hoped. Um, so, as the name implies, what this is for is it's the command that's going to basically be used to drop the um, ender chest, dump everything into it, and pick it back up. So, excuse me. So, first off, I want to check this one. Okay. So, in this script, the way I did it was within the each row of items, um, there's a, par a part where it checks the inventory, and if, it's, if it returns true, and that meaning that it's full, then it'll turn around and dump everything. I don't know that I really explained this. I feel like I have before, but just in case, a quick rundown is it's just going to go through, and while it's equal to zero... It sets things to false and then breaks because that means there's one slot at least in the turtle that has nothing in it. If not, then it returns true or fully is equal to true and then it loops again and tries again. So basically, if it ever finds one that's not full, then it'll say it's false and break. But if it loops through all 16 and they're all full, then it will end up ending on true um, so it returns full. So the dump command. What we're going to do here is now this is not um i don't think that i coded it to where yeah it, it's not like the part that's going to turn the turtle around and everything actually i did that here in this script um, and I'm kind of using some of my scripts because basically, like Open Wall is what I'm kind of going off of because Open Wall does pretty much what I want it to do, except that it goes on a one one line and then turns and goes down, but it never goes out. So it's kind of like Open Wall if I were to specify a width and then a depth type of thing. So I'm using a lot of its scripts because um, they're very similar in nature, but we're going to select the first one, um, and then we're going to place it, and that's going to stick the chest down. Then we're going to do a for loop for the slots, and in this we're going to do turtle 
Select I um, and turtle dot drop. And since I'm not specifying an argument for drop, it's going to try and drop 64 or whatever is in the slot, basically. And I'm pretty sure that's how I did it in this one, too. Yep. Okay. And then, so that it picks it up in the right slot again, we reselect the first slot, if I could spell. And then we tell it to dig. So it's going to pick it back up. Simple, right? Okay. Um, what else do we need? So we've got a check inventory. We've got the dump. Oh, one thing that I remembered to do that I forgot before is have a bedrock. Um, let's just move all these out so it looks all nice and pretty. Um, have a bedrock variable that basically is for if there is no um, Y that will just assign it that. So like um, in the mode, or where is it? Execute. In execute, what we'll do in... Uh, Actually, I messed this up. It should be Z. Because I'm doing this all legit. I still think it's dumb, but, you know, that's how Minecraft works. Is that's They did an X, Z, Y coordinate plane. I don't like it, but it's just the way it is. So in this one, there is no Y specified. So we're um, first going to set Y is equal to BR. So basically it's equal to 6 for bedrock. Um, and we're going to do this. Okay, that's all we need because this one it has Y and this one's running straight excavate. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do this. I don't, I don't want to do this. I want to do this. I want to make another function because if I run the straight excavate command, um, then it's just as inefficient as it was before and the whole point was to make it not inefficient. So, yeah, that's not going to work. So we'll do y is equal to br, um, and z is equal to x. And then we'll run excavate x. There we go. So basically what we're doing... And you know, come to think of it, if I'm assigning a value to z, I could just run xz then. That would probably save on some code. Let's do that. Because it's the same thing, really. Um, this would be the same thing. So yeah, let's let's do that. Because it's still going to be width and length either way. It's just going to be the same. We're just making z equal to x, like this, the regular excavate command. So yeah, 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 that'll work. Okay, that's much better, much cleaner. Okay, so this is basically going to fill in our blanks if they're nil type of thing. And I mean, honestly, I could I could do that in the get mode thing too. You know, you you could do all that in here and have it instead of mode one. You could just run. <sighs> Probably should do that actually. No, no. Well, uh, I'll leave it for now. Um, I I always learn. I was, it was always my habit to code first, make it work, and then if you find a way that you can consolidate the code, then great. But this... I don't... No, no. I don't see a need for mode anywhere else other than that, so we're going to change this... Um, Uh, 
C is equal to... Okay, so we're going to change this, I think. To this. If Z is equal to nil, then do... Wait, okay, then do that. Else... If z is not equal to nil and y is, then do that. Else, if z is not equal to nil and y is not equal to it either, then do that. Um, so yeah, I don't really need this anymore. Not that one. This one. I don't really need this. Yeah, it's it's funny when you when you take a minute and you go back and you look at things when you're like, I don't that was kind of a redundancy type thing. Oops. I do need that F there. Okay, take that out. Okay. That cleaned it up a little bit. Um Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, so so we've got the check inventory, we've got the dump set up. Oh, first one 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 big function I use all the time and will no doubt use in this is UE somewhere. I usually always end up finding a a place for this. Okay. Um all right. So, I'm thinking, how do I want to do this? Do I want to do, like, a row, and then go back? Yeah, okay. So I probably need to copy part of the fill floor, because I had a good turnaround program for that. Um, let's shift, I don't need that. UE, find I don't need. Place I don't need. Okay, so. How is the tech down? Oh, I used the modular thing. That's right. Okay, so. Now, there was one part in Open Wall that I accounted for gravel. Yeah, here it is. So. What did I do differently here? Okay, so um, let's do let's try um, um you know what? Let's let's do something here. I've been I've had weird results with um, uh, for loops before, so we're gonna try this. Let's see if this works. S to X do. Print. Um, S. And then I want to try S two three do. Yeah, see, uh, in. I don't know what that means. For. Is it thinking like in pairs? Right, well, well, it said in. Let's just do that and see what happens. Unexpected symbol. Well. 
Um, what is it? Yeah. I forget. All right, I'm gonna look this up because it's it's been driving me crazy. There's got to be a way to do for loops with variables. Um, so I will pause and I will be back in a moment. Okay. So I uh, wasn't really thinking it through very well. Um, you can do it, but it's a little bit more complicated to do the two variable thing, but it's easier to do it like something like this, which is what I'm going to do. Um, you do something like i equals 1 or, uh, I don't know, width maybe? Width equals 1. I'm trying to keep it so it's not kind of understand like i is a little doesn't really explain what variable type you're working with but then do it to like x um and then do so instead of using x and incrementing iterating x um you use that as your cap basically and i didn't think of doing that but it makes sense when i saw it um I'm going to do length equals 1 for z, and then do, and then this is where our meat's actually going to get in. So, um, let's see, while, while turtle dot detect, do, a lot of looping, a lot of looping, looping. Um, what did I do here? Well, turtles detect and dig and then sleep for a second. Yeah, that's er. While turtle not. Wait, what is this? Turtle not detect. Oh, 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 oh. And turtle can't move forward. Not forward. Then attack and wait half a second. I remember doing that. Okay, that makes sense. So, while well, turtle detect is turtle dot dig, and then sleep for one second. This might make it a little slower, maybe, and you might be able to get away with a half a second. I just never tried it, um, and I know this one works, so I don't really want to mess with it. Um, turtle, oh, not. Not turtle. Not turtle. And I've, I'm pretty sure I've gone over this before, but the not is like not equal to or not true. So like this one is looking for if it detects something, then to do. And this one is looking for if it doesn't detect something, but it still can't move forward. Um, do not then. Turtle attack, and um, I don't know if I mentioned this before or not either, um, but a uh, mining turtle can't really attack. Um, yeah, it just it doesn't doesn't work. Um, it well it it does, but it doesn't actually like hit anything. It just it it keeps it from lagging up basically, to where it thinks that it, it keeps it from, like, thinking it's moving forward when it's not moving forward. Um, but let's see, if I'm, this is X and this is Z, that's, that's pretty perfect. So, let's say he's running this way and he gets to the end, okay? Um... Now, how did I do... This is... This is where... I want to do... If... Place down... Um... Place down... If Y is less than height... Um, that was all that stuff. Falls, attack, sleep... Where did I put... Oh, there it is. If X is... So I want to do... Um, 
Oh yeah, our, our script's still going, man. It's awesome. Um, although, I wonder if I can use the monitor. I wonder if that'll work. I never tried that before. Um... View... Filter, whatever. I don't care. I don't care what it's titled. Um, let's do. Equals peripheral dot wrap. Right. Um. Oh, the only thing it. Nah. Let's do front because it already has a right one and that's the modem. I'll just turn it around. Um M dot or wait. No, I don't need to do all this. I don't need to do all this. Um let's just save that for a minute. Turn it. Um Oh wait, help monitor. That's what I'm looking for. Monitor side and then the program. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So, oh, wait. No, no, no. Where's. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Where is... Sorry, I know this is really not like... Um... I know this isn't like really related to whatever, but... Um... It's just, it would be easier for me to read everything. Here and change this to front. So let's do M edit fill floor. There we go. Okay. Um It was in main loop. That's what I want. A few more spaces. Oh, that's all the shift stuff. I don't need all that. Yeah, that's still all the item. See, it was built to place stuff, not tear everything down, so... A little bit different. Perfect. Okay, so... Oh, I don't have a DIR script. Or, um, variable. That's true. Um, I'm not really sure what I defaulted that to. Hmm.
for this one it would be um, so this is the detect dig and all that um All right, so let's do something here. Dig, sleep, one, attack, and then what do I need it to do after that? This is each one, so... Mm. Well... Okay, first of all, let's try and just copy this over. Did I not? Oh, I just had left and right on this guy. Well, that's stupid. Okay, let's copy mine to this. do is let's see what do I have do I have anything <sighs> give me this so let's just do one two three and four. Um, actually, thinking the well. Yeah, that should work. Um, See what, see if that works. So it should be two, three. Oh, I see the problem already. Um. So I actually am gonna need to change this to two, I think, instead of one, because the way I think it works. Wait, what? 78. It's probably something that I haven't finished yet. Wow, this is 78 line code. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Oh, I didn't add any turning codes to it. Yeah, that's good. Hey, where'd my pipe go? Dude just ate my pipe. Totally just deleted it. Uncool, man. Okay. Future reference. Um, turtles cannot eat pipes. They just eat them. Apparently. Uncool. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I think we're going to change some of this. Cause see the problem is, um Well, maybe I just need to change the width. No, we're, we're going to change this, I think. Well, nah, 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 nah. let's actually do this the right way. Which would be this 
minus one, minus one, and minus one. This keeps the user from having to actually, um, like, go through and set everything up themselves, or, or do the math all, all themselves. They can just say, I want 30 blocks, or whatever, and it will do it in essence. Um, so when it gets to the end of the length, we want it to... Um, how did I handle the DIR thing? If this is less than W, which I had these backwards, so... If width is less than x, then it's dir. Oh, wrong computer. Okay, so if dir and dir equals w modular two. Right. Okay. And then wait, where's the end command of that? <laughs> okay. If it's equal to zero, then turn right. Else if dir is equal to zero, then turn left. I think I'm starting him over here, so I almost think I want to do the opposite to that. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure, but we're running out of time for this one, so I'm going to let you guys go, and I will work on this more. Maybe I'll even finish it, and then just show you what I come up with. Um, so that we don't end up running for hours and hours and episodes and episodes. Um, so yeah, hope hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you do, give it a like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!